Hello everyone and welcome back to Kids Stars Interviews and today I'm going to be interviewing my fellow co-presenter and my friend Oscar. Hello sir. Hiya, how are you doing? I'm very well thank you, how about yourself? I'm really well thank you. When I heard I was going to be interviewed by you in this next episode of Kids Stars Interviews I thought I'd better make an impression. <laughs> And we've got loads of questions to ask you, 17 of them, in fact. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll do my best to answer them. Great. So if you're ready to get started. Yeah, far away. <laughs> oh, oh, God, he does. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question we want to know is, when did you first find Kid Stars on YouTube and what was your first opinions on the channel? Well, when I, how I first heard about the channel was uh, someone told me about it. I can't remember who it was, but uh, they told me about the channel and uh, what it was all about. And I had a look at all the playlists and I thought oh, okay this reminds me of CBBS and CBBC and Milkshake and then I saw also in that same in that same message I think it was or text or whatever uh, anyway I was told that um they were looking for new presenters and I thought hmm, okay I'll give that a go so I did a little audition video or two yeah i think i think i did two audition videos of me introducing some programs and um when i was pleased with them i sent them to the to the kid stars email address and i uh, i got lucky and i was accepted and got the job and my first Proper presenting day was on the 4th of October 2020. And here I am, still here, two years later. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> which takes us to our second question, which is, how excited were you to become a presenter on Kid Stars? Very excited, actually, because, well, hmm, uh, what was I doing in, in October 2020? Well, <laughs> It was only the start of the month, so uh, I, I don't think I was doing anything for my own YouTube channel at the time, although I had an upcoming program called uh, Ranting Ryan's Live Q&A Show, which was released on the 29th of October, so the end of the month. But when I first heard that I got the job as a Kid Stars presenter at the start of the month, I, I was really excited because it would feel like I was on CBBC or... Or CBBS, <laughs> the two. Oh, 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 and milkshake too. So I almost forgot about milkshake. But um, yeah, I was my presenting. Uh, well, hang on. Well, you see, the two CBBS presenters who I grew up with as a child were Chris and Poi, and and I, uh, I just loved seeing those two together and uh, I I even thought they were actually married <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no they're just they're just great friends and um I don't know if they're still doing stuff together but I hope so because yeah yeah when I was recording my audition videos uh, I was thinking about uh Chris and Poi and three other presenters and they were um <laughs> Sid, Sue and Nicole. I was thinking about those five CBB presenters in particular. So when I was recording my audition video, I was thinking, what will they those five do? And so I either watched a few clips on YouTube or just remembered from the top of my head. It was one of the two. Anyway. So um yes I'm very excited to be got the job as a Kid Stars presenter, and I've got to thank you for accepting me. And you're very welcome. 
Um, and I'm glad you've mentioned um, Chris and Point there as well, because I grew up with them on CBBS as well, and Sid um, too. And yeah, I hope Chris and Point are still doing things together because you work amazing as a team. I don't see why not. OK, our next question is, how did you feel when I told you you were having your own schedule? Oh, I was just oh, so happy because, well, there were many programmes which I wanted to put into the schedule more often because, well, I believe that, um, well, the old school children's television, was, television is the best. So I was adding stuff like um, Story Makers, The Shiny Show, Andy Pandy, Bill and Ben, and uh, stuff from the children's parents as well. So stuff like um, Mr. Ben, The Flumps, uh, Bod. So like stuff from the 20th century. <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, Grim Tales and Shark Infested Custard, starring two of my heroes, Rick Mail and Harry Hill. And, uh, pardon my language, but I think, um, the, the modern children's television presenter, the, the modern children's television is absolutely crap. You can bleep that out if you want. <laughs> we'll accept that answer, because <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> stating my opinions. All right! So, yes, I was very happy to know that I got to have my own schedule. OK. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. And I wanted to add, Miss, okay, I completely forgot about Mr Bean. How can I forget Mr Bean? Uh, you see, my, the animated series of, the animated show of Mr Bean is my favourite animated TV show. And I, I believe that Mr Rowan Atkinson is an absolute legend. So I want him to be... I wanted wanted to introduce kids who had if if they weren't aware of Rowan Atkinson's work already, I just wanted to show the children. I mean, how brilliant he is, and how fantastic he is, and uh, and I feel and I added the comedy programs to my schedule because I think uh, kids need to laugh. We all need to laugh. Laughing is great. And so that's why I added the um, Oscars joke section to the channel, because I wanted to I wanted to make people laugh. That's one of my favorite things to do, making people laugh. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for that question. So you can move on to the next one if you wish. OK, OK. Our next question is, do you prefer to present by yourself or with your fellow co-presenters? That's a very good question. Um, let's see. Well, when I'm presenting by myself, actually, it's not really that easy presenting by myself because when I'm recording some links, I often fluff up a line or it make it a sound effect turn up too late. And there's some links which I've walked back and thinking that I could do better. So I have to re-record those. But I suppose when I'm presenting by myself, I get to do whatever I want in those links. That's why I add the comedy, the singing, uh, the dancing, and uh, the surrealism, of course. <laughs> like uh, the most unusual things. Think of Harry Hill and Monty Python. Uh, so yeah, I when I'm presenting by myself, I get I get to add the stuff which I think would make the links. Oh, shh! Sorry, that was a notification. Um, so what was what was I saying? Oh yes. Um, yeah, when I'm presenting by myself, I. Get to, I want to get to put the stuff which I want to put into my links because I believe if I add those stuff to my links, it will make them funny. And presenting with my co-presenters, well, that oh, that is just brilliant. But when I when we got finally got to do those after 
loads of talk about that. Finally got to do that in August. And so when I'm presenting with my co-presenters, I get to share the the silliness and the weirdness with them. And sometimes we act I'm just pleased that um, that they sort of like get used to it. And uh, I'm not really surprised if there's often a confused face <laughs> or <laughs> but uh, but I'm just I'm just pleased that uh, they get to that they laugh along or, or just like if, because well they they seen my surrealism in my lengths before so I suppose they kind of know what to expect and uh, I think Brie has certainly got used to it because as she said when I was interviewing her that that she she gets to be silly when she's presenting of me and uh I think we're we're really much like each other, so yeah. Oh, but now the main question: Do I prefer presenting myself co-presenters? Now that's the tricky part. Um, I'd say I prefer presenting with my co-presenters because uh, I don't have to re-record lots and stuff, lots of stuff over and over again. So, yeah, and also, when I'm presenting with my co-presenters, I get to share the fun with them instead of just keeping it all to myself. So, yeah, that, so I prefer presenting with my co-presenters. OK, our next question is, what advice would you give to any new presenters who joins Kidstars? The advice I'd give new presenters is just um, be yourself. Um, have fun. Um, if you want to be like, uh, if you want to be an absolute clown like me, go ahead. <laughs> or, we, or we want to add some like seriousness in your links. That's that's fine. You can do that, and uh, make sure the kids have a great time. Make sure you crack up. Well, crack up lots of jokes if you can. Do plenty of singing and dancing. Do plenty of falling over. And um, just enjoy yourself, basically. That's really great advice, Oscar. Oh, thank you. I'm just hoping that will help. OK, our next question is, who's your favourite presenter to work with and why? No offence, but that's an easy question. <laughs> Brie, of course, because well, well, she's she's so bubbly, so happy, and uh, so much fun to work with. And as I say, we very much like each other because we've got the same hair colour, we've got the same personality. We like to be silly together. Um, she's an absolute joy to work with. I see her as my other sister. Oh. And yes, I say other sister, because in case you don't know, viewers, I already have a younger sister. That's why I said Brie is like my other sister to me. Oh, and we're both autistic as well. Yes, of course. So, yeah, Brie is my favourite co-presenter to work with, is the short answer. OK, our next question is, why did you want to get into presenting? Ooh, why did I want to get into presenting? Um, well, I suppose I've done presenting before my own YouTube programs, like uh, what my TV birth, of course, and uh, the Oscar Barnett Show, CBBS on BBC Two History, and uh, Ranting Ryan's live Q and A show. Although I present that as my Ranting Ryan character, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I. As I said before, I'm, if I'm talking my presenting, presenting um, inspirations come from Chris Poy, Sid, Sue and Nicole from CBeebies. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, how I want to get into it because, well, oh, um, 
Oh, I suppose uh, it's it's an enjoyable experience being the ringmaster of a uh, of a show, if you if you know what I mean. So yeah, it's an enjoyable experience being in charge of what's coming up on the on the schedule, if you may call it that. So yeah, and I said, and I'm currently working on my new TV book series just now. I'm I'm going to record episode two in the evening later on later on today. So, but it's not easy, I can tell you. Um, you see. The difficult part is having to watch all that TV to find uh, lots of things to make jokes out of. So, and uh, but uh, the actual recording and editing the show that that's the fun part because that's when you actually tell the jokes. But uh, the actual just sitting down with a, a notebook and just watching uh, lots and lots of TV um, as I. It's not as fun as I was, as I was thought it would be, actually. But I still have, I still have fun making it because, as I said before, the TV book must be the best job to do in the world because, well, the original TV book show by Harry Hill is my favorite TV show of all time. So uh, doing my own series is just an absolute joy. But it's not easy. Not easy. It's hard, but an absolute joy. So our next question is, what do you think our presenters individually bring to Kidsters? Well, going through them one by one. First of all, you, sir, as you're the man in charge, the chief, the officer, the person that we don't want to be messing with. Otherwise, he'll go. (laughs) No, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, um, as you're the yeah the the man in charge, the chief, the army of no, not the army officer, <laughs> the person in charge. Uh, you know what to bring to the channel. You know what you're talking about. So you are the main organizer. So um, I say you bring the main parts of the entertainment, the main parts of all the fun to the channel. That's what I think you bring. Thank you. Um, next is Brie. She brings, I'd say she brings the magic of the channel because um, she, um, she likes all things sparkly, unicorns, magic, uh, rainbows, and um, yeah, um, all all things shiny. That makes me wonder if she should uh, or enjoys watching the shiny show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but um, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, um, yeah, I'd say Bree brings the magic of the channel, and um, I suppose I'm next. Uh, I I think I bring. The hilarity to the channel. That's what I think I bring to the channel. Although I don't like to brag about it. <laughs> no, really, I hate. I don't want people to call me a big head or show off. And uh, Harry, um, now I know he's interested in the uh, what was it, An- anime programs, and uh, he's interested in a thing. All the uh, action stations, although I have no idea what that's all about. Uh, but I, su- I presume it's all to do with sci-fi. And um, is it sci-fi? Yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll just say sci-fi. Um, so I think he brings um, the let's just say, let's say he brings the science of the channel. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I think anyway. Our next question is, what do you love most about being a Kid Stars presenter? 
Well, what I love most about being a Kid Stars presenter is um, entertaining all the children who are watching the channel and um, my main presenting inspiration and one of my comedy inspirations is the legendary Justin Fletcher. So my um, my um, um what's it? My thing about my thing about when it comes to presenting my links most mostly comes from him with all the comedy. And so just um just entertaining the children who are watching and making them laugh, introducing all these programs, some which I have no idea what it's all about. <laughs> some which um I uh, which I don't like, and some which I I absolutely love. So, just for for example, now it's time for Mr. Bean. It, it, it makes me smile a lot when I just say those words. And something which I don't like, like I'll give you a little behind the scenes recording when I'm. When it comes to this, when I'm on camber, now it's time for Peppa Pig. And when I'm off camber, <laughs> and um, and something which I have no idea at all about. Um, um, uh, hold on. Um, is there anything? Um, oh, that was it. Sam Sam. Uh. Oh, on camera, now it's time for Sam Sam. Off camera, eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, yeah, um, well, yeah, it's entertaining the children, making them laugh, and introducing all those programs to them. <clears throat> yeah, that that's what I love about being a kids' stars presenter. It's just entertaining people. And entertaining people is something which I really love doing. And really good at as well, may I say too. Oh, that's, well, that's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> and our next question is, what will you miss most when you leave as a Kid Stars presenter next year? Ah, uh, yeah. If, 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 if it's For those who haven't seen the Instagram post, I announced that I'll be stepping down as a Kid Stars presenter on the 2nd of April, 2023. And so, what I'll miss about it is, um, working with you guys, and, um, just, well, I would say telling all those jokes, but, um, I could just tell jokes any time. <laughs> and so, well, I suppose what I'll miss about it is just, um, um, as I said, it's probably the things I said in the previous question. So, so um, yeah, just, uh, but when I, uh, when I get into the world of show business, hopefully if I'm lucky, I'd st still get to do that, but uh, maybe not as a kid's last presenter, but whatever stuff throws at me, like what offers I'm given. Although I have got uh, some ideas for what I would like to do for my, for my future. And uh, can I just say, um, some of you may be interested to hear this, but uh, I'm currently writing um, a stage show for Kid Stars for when I get when I get time off from my TV world, so like at the weekends. And so, yeah, I'm writing a Kid Stars stage show, which I'm which it will be nice to get performed, but uh, I can't guarantee it'll actually come alive. But you never know. I'm just writing a stage show, and yeah, if if um tour manager tour managers like it and say yes, we'll make that come alive. Then hurrah! So yes, yeah, so the stuff which I do for the channel. Is what I'll miss about being a Kid Stars presenter. Uh, mainly, 
mainly, I'll miss you guys. And we'll all miss you too, and all our viewers as well. But that, but that doesn't. But I won't stop entertaining people. Oh no, 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 no. But to hear that, because you've entertained us for many years, and we want entertained even more. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do, and hopefully, I've still got it. Okay, our next question is: What is your favourite film? Easy. The Harry Hill movie. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, I I saw that. Uh, I saw that when it at the cinema when it came. As is my favorite film. I know. I know the date when it came out. The Harry Hill movie came out on the twentieth of December, twenty thirteen. And so, I was um, I was eleven when it came out, and uh, yeah, I mean, the main reason why it's my favorite film, well. Obviously, because it stars Harry Hill. <laughs> Actually, that's the main reason. Because it stars Harry Hill. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, I think it's a very funny film. But some... Mind you, it's its very silly and very weird. Because it's Harry Hill. <laughs> and so, and I've heard it's... Not many people... Not many people like it, actually. It's not one of these movies that all, like, hit... Hollywood will get nominated for an Oscar, I don't think, but it'll forever be my favourite ever film. Okay, our next question is, when you're not presenting on Kid Stars or your other projects, what are your favourite hobbies? Well, when I'm not, uh, when I'm not on duty, um, I, um, I like going out and about, um, I like uh, working on my future, so like writing scripts. Um, I like reading books, doing puzzles, word searches in particular. Um, hmm. Well, I like um, going going around towns, going around charity shops because, well, oh, and. One of my, probably my biggest hobby, is um collecting videotapes and DVDs, if you know what they are. <laughs> oh, of course, uh, our young viewers uh, won't know what a VHS tape or DVD is, probably. Well, you young'uns, VHS tapes and DVDs are what we used to have for our entertainment. Before you had your new fangled streaming services. And when it comes to music, we had record players and CD players. Before you had your thingy what's it? Uh, uh, Spotify. Or uh, what it is, um, Alex. Is it Alex? Something like that anyway. Oh. <laughs> You are, right, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you cracked me up, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. Okay, our next question is, if you had a film about your life, who would you want to play you? Oh, a biographical film about me? Uh, oh, well... If he was still alive, Rick Mail. Uh, well, because I I think uh, if I was to choose a, a celebrity who I look like, it it's got to be Rick Mail. I don't think we've got any editing devices which will have a uh, Rick on one side and me on the other side. But um, <clears throat> but um, uh, let's. See. I'll choose a young one's quote, which I can say on this channel. <laughs> oh, and the uh, viewers, children in particular, wait till you're much older before you can watch the young ones. But right, I'll just get into the Rick character. I'm so hungry I can eat my own earwax. And we all know how hot it tastes. And we all know how hot that tastes. Right, kids? <laughs> 
and a <laughs> non-Rick quote coming up, but oh, actually, this Rick does say this, and Vivian says the other half. Ooh, have you got a video? Yes, we've got a video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, choosing choosing a celebrity who is still alive to play me, um, oh gosh, well, it have to be it have to be someone young, someone with brown hair, and uh, oh, well, he just just needs to dye his hair brown, and um, oh. Rowan Atkinson. That's who I'd like to play me in the biographical movie about me because, well, well, I, I know he's like he's sixty-seven now, and so so all he needs to do to make himself look like look like me and young is just um, it's the actually he hasn't really aged much. It's just his hair. So all he needs to do is dye his hair brown and um. Learn about my life and um, off. I think. So yeah, Rowan Atkinson would be my choice. And we've got one last question, and I'll oh, at the end, is, what's your favourite colour and why? My favourite colour, um, that would be blue, because well, I think blue is a very calming colour and it's when I see this blue sky on sunny days it, it's a pleasant sight to look at so that's why um, my traditional showbiz outfit will be a blue suit and uh, mind you um, the shirt will be white though <laughs> and uh, also Blue is the colour of my favourite childhood character, Thomas the Tank Engine. So, yeah. If I was to pick a favourite colour, it would be blue. And blues. I'm afraid that's all the questions and all I've got time for on today's Kid Stars interviews. Thank you so much, Oscar, for answering and for being with us today. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. And we'll see you again for another episode of Kid Stars interviews. So it's goodbye from Oscar. Toodaloo. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. See you soon.